Oh, do not attempt to adjust your dial. But a bum bum bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertainment show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. I do do it. <laughs> we just got done talking about um, the Jets. And the Jets are a joke of a team and a Mickey Mouse football franchise. They let a 40 year old stat stuffing over the hill shell of himself, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Charles, to be exact. He bothered Devontae Adams, got him out of Vegas to come to New Jersey and catch three times for 30 yards yay mediocrity so then we talked about how daniel jones never belonged in the nfl to begin with and why the giants may be looking for a new quarterback it's been five five years and he's been flexing that mediocrity he's been flexing it hard the baltimore ravens the baltimore ravens they haven't figured it out on both ends of the ball yet but when they do this thing's going to be scary be there on a five game win streak right now. So that's going to have us go to our next topic. And we're going to stay in the horrible AFC East and we're going to visit another franchise that is a joke of a franchise and the New England Patriots. Drake Mayonnaise took that BS to London along with Gerard Mayo. Nays. Yes. What happened? What happened, Vern? Anytime you can't beat Trevor Lawrence, you know you're up on a bad football team. Yeah, you New England halfwits climbed into my comments and spewed your corn chowder nonsense when I told you that you've wasted your third round draft pick on human mayonnaise and shoulder pads. I told you what was going to happen last week. Was I right? Was I right? Shocker. Imagine you having to tell me I was right, and I own you and your limited football brain, full of Samuel Adams lager or whatever trash beer you substandard dumpster juice passes for beer in that neck of the woods. I'm Himothy Williams. I am Himothy Williams. Come and get some, because I'm baptizing you morons. As I was saying about Drake Mayonnaise, he started fast, just like most of you jamokes and sex. But it was short-lived, also like you jamokes during sex, because the third quarter, they didn't do Jack Diddley shit. Congrats, you got a stat stuffer, and that's about it. The defense of New England is grotesque. They gave up 22 points in a quarter. Yeah, to the worst QB starter in the league. Shaking my head. They was winning, and then they wasn't. Don't! <laughs> In my Homer Simpson voice. Get me a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. These joke of a bit. No, get, come on, man. Come Burger on. King. BK, have it your way because you rule. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Burger King. Um, if you have the app, they've got the limited time only, the cheesy tots, the things and rings, and your way meal. You can go ahead and combine anything from your Whopper Jr. to your four-piece nugget, value fries, and cola. You can customize that order. You can do that all through the app. BK, have it your way, because you rule. Yeah, BK, have it your way, because you rule. Get it for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We only, we only hope that people in New England do that. Everywhere else in the country, break that up. Break that's unhealthy. Before these chowder heads, I'm back on it. Now, how are you supposed to beat anybody rushing for 38 yards, New England? Honestly, how is that a thing? That ass crack of the AFC managed to get seven penalties for 35 yards and four punts. Wait, I told you all that New England sucked because I have eyes? And then you all are living in the past. Oh, Belichick. Oh, Brady. Oh, war, war. If you can get Robert Kraft out of the strip mall and get him out of that uh, massage with a happy ending. <laughs> to turn around and gut this team and then start all over, you'd have a better shot. 
But since that's not going to happen, because that's my dream. I'm the best in the world. And none of you frog-looking, paint-huffing fishermen can stop this baptism I'm giving you right here, right now. Your team is 1-6. in six. You play beyond the shitty Jets, the Titans, Bears, and Rams, plus the Dolphins. Where is Drake Mayonnaise going to get that win from? The Titans? The Bears? Maybe the Rams? No way. He'd have to go after an equally bad QB and Aaron Rodgers, the scumbag of the earth, to get that win. Y'all let a running back who's 5'11 run all over y'all like Walmart trash. No disrespect to Tank Bigsby, but y'all made that man look like Marshall Falk going for 26 touches, 118 yards, and two touchdowns. How dare you? How dare you? But somehow, you illiterate Neanderthals will find your way into my chat to complain about how I'm, I don't watch the game and Gerard Mayonnaise is actually a coach. All that ass play calling and otherwise you hideous mustard smelling people need to realize one thing. You're not going to do Jack Diddley squat this year you'll sit there huddled up with your hairy broads and their mustaches and their unibrows smelling all like rotted teeth and you will cheer on a team that won't do anything anything that'll be relevant and if he wins a game don't you come in my comments don't you dare show your head in my comments acting like he's something special when he's not He's Mitchell Trubisky 2.0, and damn it, I said it first. I don't even want to hear from the delusional people. Give me somebody in Foxborough with a liquor-free brain in the in the morning. This is Big Vern at App Stupid. Don't be dumb all your life. <laughs>